wonderful to be in fellowship with each other again. We invite you to stand for the national anthem of Jamaica. This will be sung by Ray. The Archbishop of the West Indies, the Lord Bishop of Jamaica and the Cayman Islands, we invite you, sir, to offer prayers at this time. through the years of separation, the traumas of COVID-19, we are able once more to gather in this fashion, to share stories, recollections, to look at each other's progress, but above all, to share in the activities of Glenmuir. We give thanks, Father, for the founding 
ancestors, administrators, staff who have sustained this institution. In a special way for the past students who have contributed so much to the healing of their institution, the fostering of a vision for this time and for the future. And as we gather in this fashion and share in a meal, we pray that this will be a joyful time of fellowship, eating and drinking together, but that we may all be strengthened to continue our work in this institution in our various capacities sustained in God's service to the people of Napier and surrounding communities and to this nation. But we pray through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Thanks very much to our Lord Bishop of Jamaica and the Cayman Islands. As you see, ladies and gentlemen, you are now being served soup for the occasion. And just after we have done that, we invite the president of the Past Students Association. Jamaica chapter to welcome the gathering. Good afternoon, everyone. It is a signal honor and distinct pleasure for me to welcome us all to the 2023 brunch being staged by the Blender High School Past Students Association. that the last staging of our brunch in 2020 happened on the cuts of Jamaica and the world going on full down as a global pandemic overwhelmed the world. It is for this reason that we decided to reset our brunch agenda under the theme, Let's Do Brunch with Praise and Thanksgiving. Among the things we learned from COVID is appreciation of life, family, and friendship. And so, even as the embers of COVID continue to raise its ugly head at times, we give thanks and praise to God for his deliverance and continued guidance and protection. This makes all of us who are present here today very special. Our brunch is known for the camaraderie, fellowship, and high-end entertainment. As such, allow me to welcome all present at the Pegasus and online. We welcome the Archbishop and Primate of the West Indies and Bishop of Jamaica and the Cayman Islands, the Right Reverend Dr. Howard Gregory. Your presence here today reaffirms the commitment of the African Communion to its school of greatest excellence, carrying on the vision of our founder, the first native bishop of Jamaica, the Right Reverend Percival Gibson, whose goal was to establish a beacon of education in central Jamaica, a torch burning with the zeal for truth, where the children of the poor will access the best of education and play their part in the words of Marcus Garvey on the great human stage of activity. We come to brunch, one of Glenier's national and global iconic forces, the Honorable Patrick Hilton, 
CEO and Chairman of the NCB Financial Group and currently Chairman of the Board of Management of the school. We honor you, sir, for your unparalleled global achievement. We welcome Dr. Jacqueline Bissesa McKenzie, Chief Medical Officer of Jamaica, who has become a household name on the throes of the pandemic because of her technical knowledge and courage in the face of naysayers and deniers to lead our country through one of the most serious pandemics of modern history. We welcome Dr. Marcia Smalling, people of the school and members of staff and students present. You are the reason why we are here and it is your well-being that we crave to advance. In welcoming them, I also acknowledge the presence of Mr. Clement Radcliffe, second principal of Glenmuir, and Dr. Omar Davies, one of the earliest students and the first to win a government scholarship to the University of the West Indies. We also welcome Dr. Sandra Lindsay, critical care nurse in New York, and the first person to receive the COVID-19 vaccine. You made Glenmere and Jamaica proud by your courage and advocacy. We also pause at this time to remember those who have gone on before, those who taught, those who learn, and those responsible for promoting the flagrant banner at home and abroad. We remember those who worked assiduously in promoting the Past Students Association over the years, and I name Blossom Henry, Lloyd Sprackett Thompson, Edna McKenzie, and Angela Misesa. Allow me to welcome the leadership of our sister associations across the world who are present with us today. So, Kerry Bangaloo, President of the UK Chapter, Elette Ling, President of Friends of Glenmere, UK, Norman Archer, President of the Florida Chapter, Shereen Sutherland, President of the Toronto Chapter, and Dinsmore Campbell, Vice President of the New York Chapter. In welcoming all who are here, present and online, I want to extend a fraternal and special kind of welcome to those patrons among us who did not attend Glenmuir. We want to assure you that we are both by your presence and welcome you as part of the Glenmuir family. We also acknowledge our many sponsors and partners for their continued support. And I must welcome especially our Master of Ceremonies, Faye Ellington, who has been a staple at Glenmere Brunch over the years. Thank you, Faye. This year, the school celebrates 65 years of global excellence. You will hear more about that today. We remind you that we are still desirous of constructing a modern entrance at our school called The Gate that reflects the quality of its offering. As we reset our brunch agenda and try to stand on the diet of high-end entertainment, fellowship and love, that we have shared over the years, we want to invite you to relax and enjoy all we have to offer. We are Glenmuir. Wherever we are, we are flagrant, very tarty studio, burning with a zeal for truth. Remember these three words that speak who we are. They are not original but they define us simply thanks. So thank you so much and enjoy.
actually the voice that is the better voice to hear on this occasion, not mine. She's Jamaica's veteran broadcaster. She's actress extraordinaire. Ladies and gentlemen, our
Dane Dawkins. Is, was the conductor for the choir. And I just wanted us to acknowledge him. He doesn't teach at the school, but he goes to help in the choir. Where is he now? Where is Dr. Again? I want to know if he's a doctor or what. Because the doctor got in this system, I can't say, I guess, and then he was saying, she can't get no good night out like this. But then Dr. Again, just quickly, I'm sorry to pick on you like that, but while he's out of the night, you are a doctor of what? Medicine or PhD? Dr. Wow, you can look for me out with the clean too. Thank you. You're a Dawkins from where? Where are Dawkins from? I believe it's somewhere in St. Catherine. Kentish, Point Hill. Oh, so it's not Dawkins from Canada. Alright, it's alright. We have enough Dawkins there. Alright, Sydney, you want to take out this night then? Thank you. Clap him again. Thank you so much, too. Or. Praise and worship continues with coming and three items of praise and thanksgiving. My being, it is customary that when Bishop Gibson called in the school, he wanted to establish a school in central Jamaica where the children of the poor would be given a proper education. And accept. Most of those were people of African descent, people of Indian descent, people of Chinese descent. Glenmuir High School. We remember the drums of Africa.
guys are right now. But, right, you can put your hands together. Let me tell you something. Don't forget the drum. The drum is a critical part of our culture. But back I remember how the drum was utilized by those who were enslaved. And notice what we say? Those who were enslaved. Remember, those slaves never come from Africa from here. No slave never come from Africa, come here. People go out here and then enslaved. Remember that and we use it in the fact that we talk with the drum and communicate the voice. Do you know what they are saying?
Change my mind. Table 18, go there before I change my mind. So we are up here. This is a big table, so it's going to take a little while. So 22 is moving, it's moving. It's a big table, so it's taking a little time. Let's see what's happening out the road here, so now. Twenty-eight, you can go now, go for me. Go, go to the buffet line. Yes, please, yes. Is this the student? You can go to the buffet line now, you're 28. Go to the buffet line, please.
Um, table number 40, could you join this line, please? Number 40 is joining this line. I'm trying to do long, big, small, big, small table. Number six. Please take your meal tickets with you or then we send you back. Please take your meal tickets with you. That's necessary up there. Table number six. Table number six and number nine. Take along your meal ticket, please.
I'm going to ask table number 25. Table number 25. This is the one in the lobby area. Table number 25. Yuan Sims is in the house, thinks he's sexy, wearing shorts and a jacket. I, I, if I see something that I think I should comment on, I will, and you know that more than anybody else. All right, uh, Dr. Davis, please sit down and have your meal. I'm managing you today. <laughs> Farah, you are online. Wow, wow, wow. There are people watching this live stream. I hope they have got their meal. Whatever it is, sit down and dine while we are dining. Let me come up here so that maybe the camera will pick me up for the live stream. And you know, life is interesting. Mrs. Bailey, your daughter is overseas, I believe. She's in Jamaica. And may I say what you just told me? She just had twins, but she was sending greetings to her mom for not really me, but for my dog. She was my dog's vet. But far, I'm sorry to tell you, Patches went home. Uh, last year, it was a very sad occasion because he was 16 years plus. But thank you, Farah, for your loving care for animals and for your various uh, clients. I know you love the animals dearly. So to so everybody who is online, make sure you get your meal. Them don't give you any wine so you can pour your wine wherever you are. They didn't give us any because them feel my tumble down. All right. Table number 22. Table number 22. Finally, what is a long table, you know, like the one before it was long too, so it take time. All our online people, welcome.
Number 11. Yes, number 11. Finish up your soup. And so, the soup is lovely. I had pumpkin soup and it was lovely. Table number 19. Table number 19. They went outside. Table number 26. Sending our uh, table two. Sending table two over to join twenty two. Don't forget to take your meal ticket with you.
I'm sitting here thinking about you. I'm right here thinking about you. What will I do without you? Yeah. Okay, I'm busy. Yeah. You know, I just want to explain a few words. Well, I saw me and me girl a chill all day. Yeah, she squeezed me tight and said she wow me. She a bubble up power me. Listening some Tisha Cola that she start play. When she says go slow, I fall behind. The second hand on one and one and one and one. Baby, me need you by my side when I'm far away. Cause you're on my mind. Y'all, no matter the time, I could the night and day. Sending table number 31. 31, you're going to have to stand up a little bit though. All right, 31. Number 38, just join this line, please. I know it's taking a little while, but eventually we'll get to it. Table number 38. Remember, there are three 
stations. There's one in the lobby area. I'm trying to send the people in the back of the room to that one. The people on the right, I'm sending to the one facing on the right, if you're looking toward the stage. The people on the left, I'm sending to the one over on the left. Table number 17. You're going to have a little wait here, but so if you can move on that side, please. I'm going to send table number seven. Table number seven, you are here, but I don't want you to have to stand up too long, but if you, somebody can hold it, you look like a nice strong, you two nice strong people, go stand up and hold it so that they can come up here. Nice and strong. So go behind the ladies there, right in front of the camera, and then when you come up some more, you get your auntie. And somebody you're going to stand up to? All right, and the young men, your grandchildren. Okay, five. For everybody from seven. Remember to take your uh, tickets, your meal tickets with you. You want, don't have any, don't serve him.
one girl come flip it like a flipper gram, flip it like a flipper gram. Make your bumper flip like a flipper gram, flip it like a flipper gram, flip it like a flipper gram. Yep, yeah, yeah, yeah. Y'all wind up on my body, girl. Nine minutes she come back with more She take off the shoes and pound it on floor Then she start to go out, go out like a sword Then she approach me just like a cure Me knows that she like me tonight, me a score She sexy, she beautiful and she pure Tell her you me a door, so wind up on my body I'm calling table number 14. Table number 14. Hello, no so in love that you don't have hear me. Table number 14. May I call table number 14, then I hug up and a kiss. I'm sorry for them. I don't look good for me. Somebody said bad mind, no look good for me. <laughs> All right. Right? It, yeah, I feel like a stand up. Number 24, could you join this line for me, please? You may have to stand for a while. You need to. So the young people can join, and then you can join them when they go up. Carry the meal tickets. Take the meal tickets with you. Take the meal tickets with you. So she was on so my baby was up, yeah. Oh my baby 
what's up, yeah. She's like, you let me and I go faster. Anytime I call her, so she must answer. Oh, my baby, what's up, yeah. So my girl, what's up, yeah. See, she say I like you, way you Table number 30 on the outside. Table number 30, take your ticket with you. Take your ticket with you. Take your meal ticket. Table number 30. Table number 36, table number 36. I, I want to send performers. Very often performers are overlooked sometimes, you know. Yeah? So we want the ticket. Just get your ticket and get your ticket and go. Come, this this one here, you hear? From 37, are you in the line? People from 37, are you in the line? I hope so. Except that one there. Nobody look behind you. Yeah, I'm not call your table yet. Yeah. I'm punish you because you on was we don't know. <laughs> table number fifteen. Table number fifteen. You have your you have your tickets. Fifteen and thirteen.
All right. I have a little game I'm going to play with table number 16. I'm going to send some of you to that one. You choose and some to this one. <laughs> you choose. But go, make sure you have your meal ticket. Make sure you have your meal ticket, all right? Everybody's been called yet? Trevor, I don't call you. <laughs> Trevor Johnson, I haven't called you. All tables are accounted. All tables have been called. All right, it looks so. And while you are in the line, somebody was asking me a while ago if I'm not dancing. Well, DJ Kurt Riley is providing all the music that you'd want at this time to keep your spirits up, your energy up until you get your food. And of course, there'll be more that you can do. To the people who are online, once again, we welcome you. Thank you for joining online hope you're having a sumptuous meal let me tell you what they're having them having curry goat chicken fish salad roti pigtail woo them having a whole pile of All right, I don't talk about sending people for the meal now, because I think all of that has happened. So I'm going to sit down and try to eat something myself. Hi, Doc. How are you? want to acknowledge photographer Nathaniel Stewart. He left Glenmuir in 1989 and he's capturing all these wonderful memories and moments. When you could at least clap him, you know, because it's your pictures he's been taking, the moments he's been taking, right? Ah, okay, yes. I'm trying to find anybody um, removed my folder from where I was sitting my file with all the information they want to give me. All right, while we have a little lull, I want to acknowledge your groups. Class of 73, 50 years. Class of 73. Class of 73. Let me hear you one more time. Is the mayor at that table too? Mayor Winston Mirage, 
Then I saw long you left school. My folder is on the podium. Clearly, it's a thing. Not well. Me all alone, no? That's a problem. <laughs> yeah, no, sir. Now look here now. Respect is due to all of you. No? Because the mayor took me on and said, I look old to you. He's one of the freshest looking mayors I've seen in a long time. Not a wrinkle. Is that true? Take it on. Look at that face. Good. And he's the first mayor of Mapen who is a past student of Glen Muir. Clap him. Acknowledge. Let me ask class of class of 71. Class of 71. Anybody from the class of 70? The, them, ah, here we go. All right, clap her, clap her. Class of 74. Class of 74. Yes, them over there. Class, clap them. Class of 74. Class of 85. I hear you're always supporting. Oh. That's why they put so much on over that long table. This is the nice class of eight. How much, how much attention do they get when they're in school? If they're making so much noise, no. How much attention do they get while they was in school? Eh? Merce, clap them again, make noise again, class of 85. Hand up. And the note I have is that you're always supporting. That's the note I have. Class of 90, 90. Class of 90, class of 90. Rene, Sister Rene, talk to me please one moment. Excuse me, excuse me, sorry doc. Thank you so much.
may I have your attention, please? I would like to remind you that when I announce the class of and the year, that is the year when they left school. I've been asked by an organizer to make that clear because someone will fling stone after people. All right? So if I say class of 85, that's the year they left fifth form. Or class of 90, that's the year they left fifth form. Thank you for that, Kurt. Thanks for dipping the music just now. Back to you.
I'm coming in again, Dwight. Uh, DJ Kurt Riley, thank you. Uh, check if you, if the jewelry you came here is still on your body. Check if the jewelry you came here with is still on your body. If you're missing anything, please come to me. You have to identify what it is. Right? Check to see if the jewelry you left home with is still on your person. If you have checked and you're missing something, please check with me. And you'll have to tell me before I give it to you what it is. Now, this dapper looking gentleman always wants to steal the show. Coming here, let me tell you something. You see them ship uh, pants foot, yeah? And I know Uno, I know Uno come up with this, you know? This has been around from a long time. And it come back again. Oh, we used to call them gun foot pants or gun mouth pants. And that we used to call, you remember? Yes, so let them come in with these things and believe it's them make them. Eh? We, we show that the style is fine. You see how that they hat there? You know when man used to dress and wear hats, wear fedora? Eh? Where you are come from, like you are create this thing. Eh? And other ladies used to wear peplum. Eh? You remember peplum? You remember peplum? May I tell you? Hello, you are, pro you are proposing to somebody? As far as I know, you're married. Then again, if you don't know your knee like that, you can't get up. Me not sure neither. How you do long time, no same. Ladies and gentlemen, prepare for the fashion show. Mr. Dwight, where are you? See, Mel, did they have funny heading here? You ready? Yes. Clap him then on your own. Thank you, Auntie Faye. Glenn Muir. Glenn Muir. We're not on strike here, you know. We're not on strike. Glenn Muir. Sounds good. All right, so I hear about the gunfoot pants, back in style. But a couple of things. Mrs. Ratliff, come forward. Karen Ratliff, step forward for me quickly. And I'm going to share this moment with you. Believe it or not, and this is exactly how I'm going to post it on Instagram. This was my econ teacher in sixth form. Patrick, yours too? In another life. <laughs> no, look at this lady and tell me something. My sixth form teacher, who could look like my early 20 sister. Wrong or right? But when I went over to the table to take that picture, here the husband, Clement Radcliffe. Nobody with no contract for you. <laughs> But you look great, Mrs. Ratliff. You look absolutely stunning. Karen Ratliff. You know, and these are the people we must salute as we celebrate our moment. What would we be without them? So, salute to the teachers. Um, but, you know, it's funny. I say salute to the teachers because if it was once upon a time, then it would have been a good time to say that with Omar Davis sitting here. But he's no longer the Minister of Finance, so I can't even put in a word, a good word, on this particular platform. So here we are. But truth be told, a Glenmere celebration is really a celebration for all schools. Because I've been seeing a couple of friends of mine. And when I say to them, but you never go Glenmere, they're identifying other high-profile schools who they are here to support Glenmere this afternoon. Immaculate is in the house. Immaculate, you see? St. Hughes is in the house. Yeah, man, see them there, because I heard it. Queens is in the house. See what I'm telling you? Veertek is in the house. <laughs> but it's, Edwin Allen is in the house. I know Clarendon College is in the house for sure. All right, Ashlyn. So, here we are, another brunch for Glenmuir. It's time to get into that moment of fashion. Hold on, Kurt Riley. And this wonderful lady says to me, Mr. Peters, stand for me, my gorgeous woman. 
she says to me, come with all the green. It might be the kryptonite for Dr. Davis, but come along with the green. Um, so here it is. That she says to me, we're waiting on the fashion show, Mr. Peters. But then she says, I'm a fashionist to you know. <laughs> and certainly she, look at her. You know, absolutely stunning. Take your twirl, ma'am. Take your twirl. Take your twirl. So I tell you, it's not just the models on the runway, but our guests are looking absolutely fantastic. Marvelous indeed. And of course, you know, Dr. Sandra Lindsay, my dear friend, you know, the first first to be vaccinated in America and of course became an international star but more importantly it's her selflessness that we celebrate and you know she contributed quite a bit to the Jamaican people about $800,000 worth of supplies during the COVID times and yes she's a Glenmirite and as I always tell my other friends you know who are jealous it could only be a woman from Clarendon who went to Glenmire who would turn up in the front of the line we gonna get a vaccine that nobody knows about. Knows about. <laughs> it's no easy feat. Applause to Sandra Lindsay, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, man. Only a woman from Clarendon who went to Glenmuir could be at the front of the line. And believe me, when I saw it and I heard the accent, that's what I thought. And that's how I got her to do my interview. The first exclusive outside of the U.S. Thanks, Sandra, for all you do. Signatures it is. Pat Samuels, ready to roll. Models courtesy of Saint International. In fact, the first model is a sister of Jamaica's most successful model, Tammy Williams. And she herself was introduced to the world of fashion as a world exclusive debut for none other than Burberry out of the UK. She says she's ready to get back on the runway. So Chenille is going to be opening this evening. Ladies and gentlemen, they call it casual. I say it's exceptional. All from signatures. And we have some guest models with us this afternoon. Glenmere students who were runners up or queens or the festival queen competition. Yes, they are serving on the runway as well.
And our next model is none other than Miss Jamaica Festival Queen 1988. Georgia McDonald Morrison. Here she comes. And let me right to the bone. Fun fact. She won July. 1988. Gilbert was September 1988, she tells me. So she was the pre Gilbert queen. What can I say? Georgia McDonald, radiant as ever. Clean it up. And our next model, the class of 1973, Marjorie McCreefy on the runway for signatures.
But I see it in slow. Oh no, and you see my lifestyle, I got G's in the top. See many people they outside where they feed man zobo. Oh no, I me a stand the defender like Joseph Yobo. My girl say she want Netflix and chill, so I just get even one. If you fall in love, Kelly satin. You go to breakfast, I'm not capping. Can you see dripple? I'm not catchy. I'm not faking this, no fugazi. You see these feelings, I'm not catching. I'm a quest and fit, I just want it. Happiness. If I broke now my business, I'ma show you you go right. Fall again for the night. Happiness. If I broke now my business, I'ma show you you go right. Fall again for the night. If it be the reason why your baba want to jealous me If you want to take up serious, I they do to speed No fit to resonate, I'm on a different frequency uh-huh. I don't think it's necessary I'll be done with somebody that could do like me Man, I be like Musala coming up the right wing I got to your defender, you no need to tell me I'm a horse, finesse uh, And you know, say me, I'm a snack uh, Now you can lay, I go carry go uh, 
If me, I got money past you. If you're not careful, oh, finesse. You know, send me a mustache. Now, Kale, I go carry go. If me, I got money past you. If you're not careful, I'll be messy. If I broke down my business, I'm a child, you go right. Shot, two shot, three shot, four. After nine minutes, she come back for more. She take off the shoes and pound it as floor. Then she start to broke up, broke up like a sword. Then she approach me just like a cure. Me know that she like me tonight, me a sword. She sexy, she beautiful, and she pure. Tell her you me a door, so wind up from my body, girl. Wind up like a carnival. Peace Guru. <laughs> no me importa lo que de mí se diga. Vive usted su vida, que yo vivo la mía. Que solo es una, disfruta el momento. Que el tiempo se acaba. Y Thank no you. I think your moment is coming, Mr. Hilton. You see your smile, you can't stop smile. The beautiful ladies. Yes, I know how it is. Sandra, here you go. You know, it's one of those things that when you're in school, we say Sandra, and now you're, we're Sandra. I hear you. One of those things. Over to you, Auntie Faye. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Hope you enjoyed it. Have a good one. Thanks to Dwight Peters and 
the hip models. And that very tall lady, I had to ask her how tall. She's six foot one. Right, six foot one. <laughs> and I'm shrinking, what a cross is. Listen to me, I have supported the UN group. They're going to the UN model conference later on this month. I've bought my armband. So please, $500 for the armband, $1,500 for the keychain. Glenmuir High School keychain. All right, there's a bit of surprise. We have two surprises happening. The first one is going to happen now. And then later on, a guest performer that is going to take you to another level. May I ask you all to take your seats at this time? Please take your, if you're standing, I need for you to take your seats. I don't know about Trevor Johnson, that camera right there, so. Trevor Johnson. Ladies and gentlemen, you are celebrating a significant milestone, aren't you? This is the 65th anniversary, am I correct? Oh, I have jewelry, lots of jewelry. Uh, please remember if you've lost any form of jewelry, we're going to ask you to check with me afterwards, right? I'm going to ask you to clear the way for me, please. We have a wonderful surprise about... Uh, unfold in this ballroom and then the guest performer later on may I tell you is going to turn this thing up 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 all right could I have the former deputy head boy of Glenmuir High School to come forward I really haven't seen this gentleman for a little while I know him very very well it's so good to see his smile. Colonel uh, Mahatma Williams. Oh man, we go from far. Yeah man. Oh, know him from him. Come up left and then come straight up till in town, Colonel. Aye. Even MC this wedding. And when I see what the soldiers make them have to drink at their wedding, it's amazing. You don't know the story? Get that from him. Are you going to go up there, sir? I think you should. Ladies, could we clear the, could you ask that little boy? Come, come over here and sit here if you want to see properly. Come, come, you may come, come. I don't want you because what is about to happen here? You can sit right there. Ladies and gentlemen, your attention. Something is about to happen in this ballroom. Could we, could we do that, please? All right, I told you, come on in. It's a different kind of entrance in here today. Well, the JCF collaborating with the JDF. Oh, yes. Why, this is not the back, then we'll come round my yard side. Because you can hardly hear the one here. The one, then we'll come round for my yard. Oh, if you mad me. So he's bringing now, oh, a canister that will be given to Colonel Mahatma Williams. All right. Clap them. Let us also understand that the service of these men and women from the JDF and the JCF is of critical importance to this nation. Sir. Good afternoon, everyone. Again, I am Mahatma Williams, Colonel Mahatma Williams from the JDF. I am the brigade commander for the Jamaica Regiment. The Jamaica Regiment is the land forces infantry fighting arm of the JDF. I'm also a graduate of class of 91. Right. So please allow me to read this proclamation. It is with a sense of praise and thanksgiving that we, 
the alumni of Glenmuir High School gathered at brunch 2023 on this day, 12th of March, 2023, salute our alma mater, Glenmuir High School, on 65 years of global excellence. As such, we hereby launch the Glenmuir at 65 celebrations. Simply the best. Okay. Thank you very much. Principal, might I invite you up? Principal, and the chairman indeed. Come on up. You have your simply the best. Go ahead, DJ Kirk. Done in spectacular style. You could put your hands together a little better than that. It's the launch of the Madam Principal. We celebrate with you. We celebrate with you. All right. Yes. Colonel Mahatma Williams says he has to go. He has a meeting at 1600. And if you don't know military time, learn it now, right? And even though he's a colonel, I want the lady who is in charge decides that she's going to punish him. And that is where Admiral <laughs> Weems Gorman. Thank you for coming. Thank you for your dedication to your alma mater. I think we need to go to Simply the Best now, DJ Kirk. No? Where's Janae? Janae is nearby. Is she coming? Is Janae coming to perform? Dr. Dawkins, Janae coming? Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for Janae as she makes her entrance with this special song for the 65th celebration of Glenmuir High School. The instrumentalists are at it. On drums, Elisha Ellis. Brington Horton on keyboards and my dear friend Dale Brown on bass.
and I need you, my heart's on fire. Come to me, come to me, wild and wild. You come to me, give me everything I need. Give me lifetimes of promises and worlds of dreams. Speak the language of love like you know what it means. You can't be wrong. Take my heart and make it strong. Baby, you're simply the best. Better than all the rest. Better than anyone. Anyone I've ever met. Stop calling your heart, baby. Your hand be dead in your heart I see the start of every night and every day in your eyes I get lost I get washed away just as long as I'm here in your arms I could be in no better place baby you're simply the best Better than all the rest, better than anyone, anyone I've ever met. Stuck on your heart, baby, hang on every word you say, tell us apart, no, baby, I'd rather be dead. Each time you leave me, you're so losing control. You're walking away with my heart and my soul. I can feel you even when I'm alone. Oh, baby, don't let go. Ain't no better. We're simply the best. Ain't that right? Thank you. Simply the best. Put your hands together one more time. Want to remind you that the guest performer, the entertainer for the afternoon, you won't want to miss. You will not want to miss. We are setting the... No, why is Sydney looking like him struggling with the lectern? So. Sydney, them say old age catchy has struggled with the lectern. Fix up the microphone. Fix up the microphone. Let me introduce. Let me bring up the guest speaker. Thank you, please. I'm mashing, mashing up the people in mic. Mercy God. Hold on. Somebody from Ah, oh, face three is coming. If it mash up, it's not me. Mash it. All right. Remember. By support the, the students, the, UN's, uh, the UN club, 500 for the armband, 1,500 for the key ring. You're going to bring another one? 
You have another? Or just sanitize another mic and bring it for me now, please. Boy, well, can you imagine? Since COVID, we've had to be sanitizing microphones between users. It's very important, you know. All right, so listen now. Many things going on for Glenn Muir for this uh, 65th anniversary. That you are here to celebrate is important and that we have our online company, the community, watching and celebrating with us is also so very important. We're going to be just getting the microphone ready for the guest speaker. Yes, it's okay. He's coming with a microphone fixed or a new one, that is, after Sydney don't mash up that one. Me now take no blame, Pete. <laughs> All right, so you heard earlier on when Mrs. Sandra Bailey spoke, she introduced a number of uh, important people in your gathering who are past students of the alma mater of Glenmuir High School. So I don't think I need to go into any long drawn out introduction at this time, except to say that your guest speaker at this time is the Honorable, because he is the holder of an Order of Jamaica, the Honorable Mas Patrick, <laughs> you know how I'm putting it there. Could you welcome, we've put a microphone for you, so that one should be up and ready to go. The head of the National Commercial Bank in this country, and Dwight Peters was trying to get some credit card business when he brought him up there earlier on. Could you welcome him onto the stage to talk with you, to share with you at this very important occasion? Well, thank, thank you very much. Mic check. Yeah, okay, good. Thank you very much, Faye, our master of ceremonies. I want to specially recognize a few people. Uh, the most Reverend Howard Gregory, Archbishop of the West Indies, and Mrs. Gregory, who are here sitting at table one with us. Mayor of Maypen and past student, Mr. Winston Mirage, I guess he's in the room. Our principal, Dr. Marshall Smalling. Dr. Jacqueline Bissesa McKenzie, Chief Medical Officer, and Mr. McKenzie also at table one. Mrs. Sandra, make sure I get it right, Bailey, President of the Glenmere Past Students Association. Dr. Omar Davies, Mr. Clement Radcliffe and Mrs. Radcliffe, who you would have seen earlier. Mrs. Radcliffe needs to introduce us all to the fountain of youth. Right. I don't know what the secret is, but whatever it is, it, it, it works. So we, we will talk afterwards, in camera. But, ladies and gentlemen, before I get into the substance of what I wanted to talk about, I just want to say, that it is re a real pleasure to be here today. I have enjoyed meeting a lot of people and greeting a lot of people I haven't seen for decades. Right? Some of them I could only recognize kind of slightly by their face, face you know, the, the resemblance and so on, because you know, the years change us. Right? Recently, I was at a send off for a senior manager of NCB who went to Glenmuir. And he remarked to me that in sixth form, he and I, he actually is a very small guy in, in, size, in slim in stature. And he remarked to me that he used to weigh more than me in high school. And he reminded me that at the same height, I was weighing 142 pounds. And I said, boy, <laughs> the years have made some changes. I won't say it's a toll. I don't know if it's a blessing, but, but it's change, right? That's change. And then, as I listened to many of the things that the various persons before me said, one of the things which occurred to me, and I asked Dr. Smalling for confirmation, you know, is the findings of the Orlando Patterson-led um, group, which said that Glenmuir is the best school in Jamaica. Yeah. And you know, I said to myself when I heard it that, but we know that long time. Right? We know that long time. Hidden in plain sight. Right? A secret which has now become publicly known. But you know, I've been associated more closely with Glenmuir for almost a year now with the capacity of chairman. I must say I'm very impressed with what I see at the school, with the strides it has it has made, right? With the developments which have taken place. 
And as I said to Dr. Smalling, this is a journey that must continue. We have to continue to transform the school and to take it to an even higher level. Because there are some things that we can tweak, there are some things that we can improve, but for us to do that, the school needs support. And it needs the support of all of us, in particular the alumni of, of the school. And I was speaking with Dr. Gregory earlier on, and we're talking about endowments and how you know, some schools have been able to build endowments. And I think it's maybe a challenge that we need to start to take on for Glenmere going forward, right? Because we, one, of the, one thing I've learned in life, if you think it is hard becoming number one, then let me tell you something, it is hard to stay in there. Because then you become the target, right? And everybody comes after you. But as I reflected over the past few days on what would be the focus of my, I almost said my message to you today, <laughs> my presentation, right? It occurred to me that maybe there's something that, I was trying to find something that would be relevant to everyone because this is a mixed audience, right? People from different backgrounds, different interests, you know, diversified um, experiences, relationships, and so on. And I said to myself, what theme, what message could I speak to today which could potentially resonate with everyone? And as I reflected on the past few years and this being the first such function since the pandemic, right, I said to myself, maybe if we talk about the challenge of not just existing, but the challenge of thriving in what many call the new normal, the new norm, the new environment. And you know, I said to my colleagues very often, I challenge this concept of new normal because to my mind, it is always normal. What we are reflecting, what we are experiencing is the normal of the current time, yeah? And I tell people that my suspicion is that volatility, uncertainty, and so on is going to be normalized and a part of our existence going forward. That is, that is normal. And so we have to learn to live with normal, right? We have to learn to just accept things as they are and notwithstanding what they are, to find a way to make a success of it. The good thing, the good thing, ladies and gentlemen, is that there are principles which can assist us in this endeavor. There are principles which can aid us in our journey, in our desire, right, to thrive and to excel, notwithstanding what is going on in any set of circumstances, right? And I've said to people that one thing I've learned in life is to accept the good and the bad because they both contribute to building us, building our character, building our capabilities, right? Building us in terms of what we can ultimately deliver. So I'm grateful for all experiences, whether they are negative or they are positive. I see them as just part of the process, a part of the journey. And to contextualize my thoughts this morning, or the focus of the message, I want to share with you a little poem. A very, I, I share it with audiences all the time because it is a poem which I think succinctly captures the message and which I think succinctly captures what life is about. And the name of the poem, which I learned very early in life, is My Wage. That's the title, that's the title of it, by a gentleman by the name of Jesse B. Rittenhouse. And it simply says, I bargained with life for a penny and life would pay no more. However, I begged at evening when I counted my scanty store. For life is a just employer. He gives you what you ask. But once you have set the wages, then you must bear the task. I worked for a mean else hire, only to learn dismayed that any wage I'd asked of life, life would have willingly paid. End of it. The message here 
colleagues is that we are all self-made people. The level of success, the level of you know, whatever you want to achieve is going to be a function of the effort, the discipline, the focus, the sacrifice, the commitment that you put into it. Just as simple as that. Yeah? It's up to you. The good thing, as I said, is that there are frameworks which can assist you in that journey. I often say to people that I'm a great believer in this quotation by, um, was it, I can't remember who it is now, who said, Buddha, who said, the mind is everything. What we think we become. Very simple. What we think we become. It's just like food, what we eat we become. I know I've been a victim. I've experienced it. Right? I eat badly, I gain weight. And it don't matter how much I want to pretend in front of people and eat a salad at home and then I go out and eat something else, right? I'm going to have a different experience. It's a function of what I put in. And it's the same thing with the mind. You have to train it. You have to be very deliberate, right? You have to look at things through the right filter. And very often, our experiences, our outcomes are a function, simply a function of the filter through which we view things. It's through the mind. It is ultimately what we become. You know, one of the, the examples I use, I tell people, I can take up a phone and I can dial a number of somebody in New York or in New Jersey or in London and it goes directly to their phone and they answer it. There's no physical connection, but it works. That's, that's the mind. It's, a, it's, it's like a broadcasting and a receiving station broadcasting certain positive impulses are, 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 are negative and receiving them. And it becomes a function of how you, tra how you train the mind and where you put your focus and your attention, the filter through which you see things. So I've spent a lot of time trying to create or to identify or to develop frameworks around which to handle circumstances and situations so as to ensure that irrespective of what is happening in the environment, I am going to have a positive outcome, a positive experience, one that is transformational for me and for whoever else I am associated with in that endeavor. And I remember some years ago, I read a book. The name of it was Beyond Performance by a guy named Scott Keller and Colin Price. It was a really a corporate book, and it was outlined in a number of principles. And I said to myself, you know, these principles are universal because they apply to both the corporate as well as the individual. And in the book, they identified what they call the five A's principle. Five A's, right? The first A is the aspiration, right? And I've said to people that it is important for you to be clear on where you're going because the aspiration really answers the question, where do you want to go? Whether it is in three years, in five years, in seven years, in 10 years, where do I want to go? That is the aspiration. Someone once said, if you aim at nothing, you will hit it with amazing accuracy. <laughs> yeah? And of someone wants to say, if you don't know where you're going, then any road will take you there. So you want to be clear on where you're going. You want to be precise. And I say to people as well, it is important that the aspiration is unreasonable because you want it to make you sweat. You want it to drive initiative, to put you under pressure, to innovate, to create. That's what you want of your aspiration. I think Mr. Murthy, it was the founder of Infosys, the global icon um, IT company, who perhaps described it best. Uh, many years ago, I had the privilege of meeting him in India, and he said that an aspiration, I'll never forget it, an aspiration is the main fuel for progress. 
it converts ordinary people into extraordinary achievers. And he said, that is the story of Infosys. We have always dreamt big. We have always been bold in terms of the goals that we set for ourselves. And I'm saying to you, whether it is personal, whether it is for the family, whether it is for the team, whether it is for the corporate, the principle holds. The aspiration is the anchor. It is a North Star, right? And it is what will make you get up at night and think about how can I be creative? How can I be innovative? How can I deliver on this goal that I'm setting myself? The second A is to assess. And this really answers the question, what do I need? What are my shortcomings? What are the skills, competences, capabilities that I need if I'm going to transform or transition from where I am to where I want to go? It is what I call the man in the mirror moment. We have to be honest with yourself. Boy, Hilton, you lose some weight, but the stomach still needs a little work, you know. It's true. I can't say, boy, you look good. Right? And fool myself, because if I do that, I won't address the fundamental issues. Right? So it really answers the question, what skills do I need? What capabilities? What competences? What relationships do I need to build? Right? What new resources do I need to acquire? What are those that I have that I can better utilize or better leverage, for example? So you get the picture. That is the assess. The third one, and just to make it stay with it is, is to architect, which is really to plan, right? To identify a whole set of initiatives, right? activities, sequencing of them, who is to execute them, and so on. <clears throat> and then the fourth one, which is the simplest one, but the most difficult one, is to act. <laughs> right? Is to act. Some people suffer from paralysis, analysis paralysis. So they analyze and analyze, and they never move. Some people don't have the discipline to, to, to execute, to act on the initiatives and the activities that they've identified, which are necessary if they're going to transform, if they're going to transition, right? So many, many times people fail on the fourth A, which is to act. And then the fifth one is to advance, right? Because you're going to find that you move to a different level. But guess what? This is not a destination. Life is a journey. And so you have to go back through the process again where you start to reassess the paradigm shifts, right? And you set a new aspiration. You go through another process of assessment, right? You go through another process of, of architecting. And then you, you again act and you advance. So it is a continuous loop. It's a continuous program, ladies and gentlemen, for development. And as I said, it applies in every endeavor. And I can tell you that it is a framework based on my own experience, based on the experience of many I have observed or had the privilege to be associated with that works. All right? A couple of things I'll mention as well coming out of the pandemic. You know, many things happened. The world changed very suddenly. And even with the pandemic coming under significant control, we have seen what has subsequently happened with a war in Europe, right? With high inflation, high interest rates. We saw what it has done to global supply lines. We saw significant change across the world. And again, I got to tell you, I'm a framework man, right? I sat down again, I reflected on it, and I said to myself, what set of principles can be applied in these set of circumstances? to help us to navigate them. But not just to navigate them, because we don't want, we don't want just like Zenmir, we don't want to be just another school. We all want to be successful. We all, we all want to achieve great things. We all want to be better versions of ourselves. Right? We all want to become icons and to be, to be well respected and recognized in society. And in the context of that experience, we came up with the four Ps. The first P, is to pivot, right? So I tell people, 
And I say this publicly because I say it internally, in, even in my own organization. When we set a target or make a commitment, it will never change. It won't change. I can tell you, it won't change under this man. Irrespective of how circumstances change. We will pivot if we have to. So the destination will not change. How we get here might change. But we not giving up. When we make a commitment, we keep it. It was as simple as that. And I tell my guys, I get the tricks all the way they come to me. You know, this happened, interest rate went up, and we never we had planned it at this rate, the exchange rate changed. And I said, boy, it's just life, you know. Because nobody's going to come and tell you the good things that happen that they can leverage on. And if you ever fall prey to a, becoming a victim of the negative, then you have lost the race, I can tell you that. You lose it right there. So my position on it all is, is yes, but what is the opportunity? Every time I see crisis, I tell people I get excited. I get excited because I know that in every crisis, as the Chinese proverb says, there is the seed of an equivalent or a greater opportunity. It is a fact, every single one of them. So the first one is to pivot, right? The second P, I tell them, we might, not have, we might have planned it one way, but because the environment changes, there are new opportunities, so we pursue new opportunities. Yeah? Find and pursue new opportunities. And then the third one is very simple. It's just to push, push, P-U-S-H, and I tell them push means persist, P, until you, something, S, happens, H. You just push, 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 push. And then the fourth one is to pay it forward, recognizing that you need to give if you are to receive, yeah? So ladies and gentlemen, I know it has been a long day, right? There's a lot more I could say on this theme. I can speak on this theme for hours because I live it every day, I talk about it all the time, right? But I just want to say to you, just remember a few things. I want you to remember, you are the master of your fate. You are the biggest determinant of your success. You are the biggest determinant of your outcomes. It is a function of what the sacrifice that you are willing to make, the effort you are willing to put into it, but most importantly, the attitude you bring to it. It is said that it is your attitude that determines your altitude, and it is true. Whether it is emotional intelligence, social intelligence, whatever it is that is required to make it happen, you can make it happen. I tell people, the other thing, I will say to you, right, is, I tell, is enjoy the experience. Too many people talk about, you know, they, boy, put me on a lot of work, it's stressful, and you know, pressure. And I'm saying, what's that? I'm saying, bring it on. Because I want to demonstrate that I have the capacity to deal with it. It is my opportunity to, to, to demonstrate or to improve my capability. And if I look at it through that filter, my attitude is different. That one who says, boy, this is stressful, because immediately you go in negative zone, right? Boy, this is pressuring. So I look at it and I say, I say to myself, what is the opportunity here? How can I leverage this? How can I use this to create value? How can I use this to create better ver version of myself or of the people with whom I'm associated? And if you approach it in that way, I remember the words of, of the, there's a poem. It's called the master in the art of life. And I, I won't tell you the whole poem, but it simply says that the master, I summarize it by saying the master in the art of life makes little distinction between his work and his play he simply pursues his vision of excellence at whatever he is doing, leaving others to decide if he is working or playing. To him, he's always doing both. He really don't make a difference, right? It is the same thing. And as if uh, 
um, <laughs> about the get-up. So I close, ladies and gentlemen, with a quotation. It is one which I reflect on every single day. I play it a few times through my mind. Right? Interestingly, it is by an architect. His name was Daniel Burnham. And he says, make no little plans. They have no magic to stir men's blood. Make big plans. Aim high in hope and work, recognizing that a noble logical diagram, once drawn, will never die, but will long after we are gone be an increasing thing, asserting itself with ever increasing insistence. Ladies and gentlemen, I close again. Our future is in our hands. Just enjoy the ride. Thank you so very much. You're chairman of the board, and I am suggesting to Dr. Smalling, if she's not yet put it in place, you speak with the population at least once a quarter, because you inspire. You inspire. May I ask, yes, may I ask, Sandra, where are you? Could you come on up? I'm going to ask you to take center stage. Yes. I'm going to read an abbreviated version of a citation that will be given to our guest speaker, to the chairman of the board, the Honorable Patrick Hilton, OJCD, outstanding alumnus of Glenmuir High School, financial, professional, and philanthropist extraordinaire. The Honorable Patrick Hilton, OJCD, stands tall among his peers in the Jamaican financial sector recording decades of service to a grateful nation which honored him with one of its highest national awards, the Order of Jamaica. His life journey was distinguished by the continuous search for excellence. He never departed from his passion for service, first honed at home and school. Mr. Patrick Hilton serves as the chief executive officer as one of one of the largest banks in Jamaica. His successes in his career of choice are myriad and span assignments across the financial sector. His appetite for embarking into new and uncharted areas is legendary, helping to take the Jamaican banking sector to unprecedented levels of achievement. His current position as chairman of the Glenmuir High School Board provides for him another opportunity to give back to the institution which played such a significant role in his development. We salute you, the Honorable Patrick Hilton OJ, CD. You are a true inspiration. Hey. Hey. You reminded us that we have to get with it with challenge of thriving in this new environment. We are to be grateful for all our experiences. And he reminded us and demonstrated that he has an excellent memory for his poems and quotations. Thank you, sir, and congratulations. Might I invite this next person to the stage? He's not, he doesn't know about this. Mr. Sidney Barclay? Sidney Barclay, are you there? Where is Sidney? Could somebody just get him in here for me, please? Sidney? Where is he? Is he? Where is Sidney? Come, just come on up. Come on up. Need you to help me do something, please. Just walk as if you don't have arthritis, no man. Sure. We can tell you about that, you know. Just come on up. Karen, come up here, they are prudence. No, come here. Sydney Bartley, alumnus extraordinaire of Glenmuir High School. Find your body up here. Just stand up and be gracious now. Turn around, hold in your belly, and let's go. All right. Sydney Bartley, alumnus extraordinaire of Glenmuir High School, retired teacher and permanent secretary, creative genius. Sydney Bartley is an iconic figure in the Glenmuir community. His affection for and connection with our alma mater are legendary. His knowledge of the history of Glenmuir is unequaled. 
An accomplished student, Sydney's life journey has been one of dedication to excellence and to ensuring that others are enabled to live the Glenmuir ideal. His continued contributions and support have, over time, significantly enriched the choir, the quiz team, and the past students' association. A creative genius, multi-talented, follower of Christ, servant of the people, Sidney has touched countless lives. He's used his gift of fluency in languages, as well as his deep knowledge, expertise, and appreciation of Jamaican culture, to skillfully promote the national cultural agenda locally as well as internationally. His loyalty to Jamaica runs deep and is rivaled only by his dedication to Glen Muir. We salute you, Mr. Barkley. You are a true inspiration. This one got him. He didn't know about it. Trying to ball up here because you're not handsome when you cry. Hold up your head. Look out, let the camera people take your picture. Stand up beside Mrs. Sandra Bailey there. We catch you, Sydney, we catch you. Thank you, sir. Congratulations. So I love when surprises like these happen, don't you? Like most of things, I was going to pivot. <laughs> so, and now I'd like to invite Jacqueline Bisesa Mackenzie to the stage. For about two years, two and a half years, our, our is couldn't yam grass, as my mother would have said. Everybody, Dr. Bissesa, Mackenzie, Dr. Bissesa, and this is station I call, and that is station I call, and this is speech I give, and then me just love how she discover how we just sit down and not show no expression on the face in the press conference them. So I can't read what I don't want to read. High School Past Students Association in recognition of Dr. Jacqueline Bissesa Mackenzie, C.D., Outstanding alumnus of Glenmuir High School, medical professional par excellence, nation builder, internationally recognized technocrat. Dr. Jacqueline Bisesa Mackenzie exudes excellence in her academic and professional life. Medicine was a path she chose to contribute to the healing of a country whose needs are substantial. An exemplar of the motto, burning with the zeal for truth, Dr. Bisesa Mackenzie demonstrated leadership and fidelity to technical integrity in the roles she played during the COVID-19 pandemic. Her wise counsel and sobering messages, coupled with hard truths delivered with equanimity, were a balm to a nation struggling to cope with a deadly unknown. Rising to the top of her professional endeavors to be appointed Chief Medical Officer, she is a gold standard and fitting representation of the qualities which are the hallmark of Glen Muir and which are deeply instilled into all who pass through its hallowed halls. We salute you, Dr. Bisesa Mackenzie. You are a true inspiration. So all when I'm a bowl, all kind of ball at the press conference then. She just sit down. I wonder if she used to play poker. <laughs> but Glenn Muir trained her well, sir. And she just sit down. But then again, it's Clarendon people, so. <laughs> I'm going to now invite Dr. Jacqueline Bisesa Mackenzie to respond on behalf of the recipients. Madam? Thank you. I don't have any charts today. <laughs> it was the American author Horace Jackson Brown who said, don't work for recognition, but do work 
worthy of recognition. None of us being recognized here today would have thought about recognition as a motivation for what we do. I have observed my fellow awardees and I recognize the passion that they have for their craft and their real excellence in delivery. It is truly an honor to be mentioned in the same breath as these stalwarts of Glenmuir High School. I really want you to give them another round of applause, Mr. Sidney Bartley and Mr. Patrick Hilton. It is my greatest pleasure to speak on behalf of the awardees and to express my gratitude for this appreciation. Glenmuir High School has played a significant part in our lives and we are who we are today because of the time we have spent in those hallowed halls. I can never forget the pride of wearing the Glenmuir High School uniform, of knowing not only that the sweetheart neck, the Peter Pan collar, and the box pleats were beautiful in stunning maroon and white, but also that the uniform represented discipline, excellence, and scholarly achievements that were envied far and wide. I believe that Patrick and I are deeply humbled to be here to be recognized with Mr. Bartley, who we, who we recognize as one of the greatest teachers of our time, who not only taught us subjects, but instilled in all of us a passion and a flair for language, dance, drama, and excitement. Thank you, Mr. Bartley. <clears throat> On behalf of the awardees then, I say thanks to the Past Students Association for this momentous occasion. We will treasure this memory. It is a great feeling to be recognized and acknowledged, and we will continue to make our school proud, to hold the Glenmuir High School flag high in the work that we will continue to do. Thank you. Dr. Bissessa, might I ask you to just remain there? Uh, Mr. Hilton and uh, uh, Mr. Bartlett, could you just join them for a group photograph on stage? You'll be given your plaques at this time, uh, your gifts rather, both, both at this time for the group photograph. While you're doing that, I just want to remind us of the sponsors, National Commercial Bank with Cinco, Avil Medical Supplies and Disposables, Jamaica Pegasus Hotel, Phase 3 Production, Saint International, Signatures Boutique, Headline Entertainment, Gold Dust Transportation Services, Mr. Courtney Mighton, Paradise Villas, Discovery Bay St. Anne, Blue Soul Villa, Marina Villas, Draxall St. Anne, Moon Palace Hotel, Ocho Rios. I'd also like for us to acknowledge the hardworking team that made this event possible. Could you put your hands for the hardworking team that made this event possible? They didn't ask me to do that. They are surprised. I just say it. So... Principal, Dr. Smalling, and the president, Mrs. Bailey, could you come on up to join the recipients for this group photograph? And the guest act is coming after this. Thank you very much. So even though we are celebrating, we are rejoicing. In everything, and our guest speaker reminded us, and I'm just paraphrasing, you can learn from everything in life. I have a bit of news for you that I got earlier, but I decided I had to find the right time. And I think the right time is now, just before our next performer, and you'll see why I'm putting it here. News came this morning that Mrs. Camille Williams passed on. Yeah. And so what we ought to do at this point is celebrate her life and her contribution. I kind of do that, you know? So 
just want to share that with you. And remember that we are giving praise and thanksgiving. That's what your theme is really all about in your 65th anniversary. And as we give praise and thanksgiving, it's time to really give praise and thanksgiving because it is my honor, privilege, and pleasure to invite our cameo performer to the stage at this time, Mr. Kevin Downswell. Kurt. One, two. One, two, one, two, one, two. How you doing? How you doing? When the road leaves long and heavy, when it's dark and dark, see clearly how we lift my eyes to the hills from which my from there. From you, Glenmore, make some noise. Leave me, oh, leave me, oh, leave me where I've never been before. Place I've never seen. Everybody, hands up in here for me, like this right here. Say, when I come, I can't hear you. Father, carry me. Loader, loader, Father, carry me. You say, when I, I want to see the hands up in the air for me like this. Voila. Father, carry me, Mr. Harris. <laughs> Father, carry me. Hey. When you say, and heavy. You say, and heavy. You say, and heavy. When it's dark. When it's dark. And I can't see clearly. See clearly. Romeo and sing this say. I will lift my eyes to, to the hills. The hills I want to see everybody hands on this. Hands up like this. Everybody, everybody, everybody. My help comes from you. Somebody say, lead me. Say. Lead me, oh, lead me, oh, lead me. Where I've never been before. Hey. Everybody from Glenmore, throw your hands up for me right here. You say, when, when I come to the end of my sin. Say, Father, Father. Say, Father, Father. I can't hear you. Say, when I The one who made Walk one over yourself, over yourself. Your mighty Walk yes. over yourself, walk one Minna see the hands there, minna see the hands yeah. One thing that I desire of you And I own up the best sound, you know but I feel like I want to see a righteous one sing I want to see a righteous song And sing Righteous song No, hands up, hands up Somebody shout hallelujah Anybody grateful for 65 years? Anybody grateful? Anybody grateful? If you're proud of your school, shout hallelujah. Right here, say. When I come to the end of my life. Hey, Father, carry me. Put your hands up, ladies, me. Say, Father, Father, carry me. Cut the track for me, girl. Cut the track for me. Cut the track. Cut the track. You say, when I clap for me, clap with it, clap with it. Father, oh, no, no. when I come, when I come to. Father, 
Father, Father. Wow, somebody shout hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. It's a blessing. There's a little song that I sing that says, Grace brought me here. If it wasn't for grace. So before, when I done that song, everybody with the high heels and so forth, I'm going to ask you maybe, maybe kick it off because we're going to make some noise in this place. Ready? So somebody shout grace. Kurt, run it for me. So Kurt, right? Someone make some noise for Kurt Riley. Somebody shout grace. Turn it up for me. Turn it up. 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 What would I do without? What would I do without? Turn it up for me. Give me some more. Right. Hallelujah. Some said you wouldn't. Yeah. They say you couldn't. You wonder if you could have battles in your head. Times you felt lost and broken. You felt like you couldn't make it through the day, Glenmore. But you know God has spoken. And he promised not to leave you. So you're standing here today saying, How did I get here? Anybody thank God for grace? Hands up like this. Somebody say, I call it grace. 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 Hey. Grace brought me here. Give me the track, no man. Give me the track. Give me the track. Somebody say grace. I call it grace. 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 Grace brought me here. Take it on my ears. Times I felt lost and broken Felt like I would have never make it through the day But you know God had spoken And he promised not to leave you Never know you'd still be here, Glenmuir Never know you'd still be seeing Never know you'd smile again Never know you'd hope again So you're standing here today Singing, how did I get here? Are the grateful people? Throw your hands, one's up, one and up, one and up. Say, I call it grace. Say, grace. Grace. Hey, grace brought you here. I can't hear you. Say, grace. I call it. Somebody shout hallelujah. Somebody say thank you, Jesus. I can't hear you. Somebody say thank you, Jesus. Somebody say thank you. Hey, have you ever been through something and come out on the other side and look back and wonder how? You know it's a miracle Cause God is with you For without him Where would we All the grateful people Hands up say I got it What 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 If it If it wasn't for you Somebody point up to the king of kings right here Say grace Grace Grace, Christ brought me here. Even, even, Grace, I say, I call it grace. Say, say, Grace, Christ brought you here. If it wasn't for, I, I call it grace, grace, grace. It's a principle for playing more high. One second for me. I call it. I, I call it. Christ brought you here. Hey, I call it. I call it. Christ brought you here. Take it down. 
for me, Kurt. I want you to do something for me. I want you to tell me, share three major events in Glenmore history that could have destroyed you guys. Three major occurrences that you, it felt like this was just big. This was just, God, this is too much. Major event has to be personal or just general, let's go. The, the pandemic, of course, that's one thing. Um, the impact was great. But the team is strong and um, everything that we do, we commit to the Lord. And so we're able to get through that. And of course, um, when I went to Glenmere, there was a large group of students which really had the staff members digging very deep, going above and beyond. But they were able to accomplish great things because of the, the rich tradition of excellence, um, the strong teamwork, and again, because we commit everything to the Lord. And of course, leadership is a challenge on my part. And so um, every day, some things will emerge that will test us. But when we are firm about our purpose, and when we are firm about God's goodness and his ever presence with us, we know that we'll survive it. Is there anybody in the house Thank you so much. Who knows, sir, if it hadn't been for God's grace, you wouldn't be standing today. Personally and corporately. I can't hear you. I can't hear you. I can't hear you. Is there anybody in this house who felt like the reason why you're here is because of you? Lift your hand. But, oh, yeah? Let me see the hands of those who feel and know that the reason why you're here is because of the mighty grace and favor of God. Now open up your mouth and show thank you, Father. Show thank you, Father. Show thank you, Father. Show thank you, Jesus. Show thank you, Jesus. Show thank you, Jesus. I call it sin. Grace, grace, grace brought you here. If it wasn't for his grace, look on the person beside you at your table and say, Look on you. Look on you. <laughs> no matter, sweet, don't, don't, don't even go on like we, we are Jamaicans. Say, Coop on you. Say, Missy Grace all over you. Say, Missy Grace all over you. Say, Missy Grace all over you. Wall and pan them and no man, boss a smile in them face, no man. And say, Missy Grace all over you. Say, I see Grace all over you. Say, I see Grace all over you. I see Grace all over you. Should I lost my mind long time? Should I not be here? So, everybody, put your hands up in here for me and just say, Thank you. Thank you. Say thank you. Shout hallelujah. No, can you get everyone on the feed for me? One, one. Can everybody just stand on the feed for me? Somebody show it's all ready, done. Somebody say it's all ready, done. Somebody, Kirk, Kirk, jump in for me. Somebody say it's all ready. Yeah, no man, already done. If you ever met them here, that's Sunday, bro. Already done. Play it for me. Somebody say, already done. Hey. Fighting soldiers in God's army. Music, volume, volume, volume. Somebody shout hallelujah. Put your hands up. Put your hands up. Put your hands up. Hey, you know what? I see you wondering why. In the midst of your adversities, can you look on the stage? So me are coming at the audience. But if you get trust in me, I will supply. Me 
can't hear you. No hands up, say. I will take you home. I will take you home. I will never leave. You say. You say. I'm standing right there in the midst of your Glenmore. Glenmore. Glenmore High. Right yourself. You say. It's already done. It's already done. It's already done. It's already done. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Somebody show. Next anchor. Somebody shout hallelujah. That we, we just want to touch and go. Ready? Let's go. Somebody shout hallelujah. Show Glenmore High School. Happy six to five. Metellus, you might have to take off your heels for the one here. So stronger. Put your flags up in the put, put your rocks up in the air. Put your rocks up in the air. Put your rocks up in the air. Put your rocks up. Put your rocks up. Glenmore, you're a survivor. Ready? You're my 
Let's go, let's go. Where the crunchy went? Where is it? Where is it? Put it up. 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 Put put your kerchief in the air. Put your napkin in the air. I hope I'm not going over my time. Ready, ready, say. You're my creator. Eta. Eta. Lord, you know. What, what? I don't see the napkins. Seasons are break too. You said. So I will sing you. So I will sing you. And you. Look louder, look louder. Say. You're my strength. Say. And you are. Put your hands up in the air. You make me stronger. I can't hear you. I can't hear you. I gotta go. I got to go. I got to go. Yeah, yeah. Prudence, I love you. Hear it. Knocking. Lord, I'll take your hand. Knocking. 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 You'll fix my focus. Knocking. I love you guys, thank you. So, and you are fine. You're my shop tower. And you are will hide when you knock in them down. You make me stronger, stronger. I love you, thank you. Thank you. Uh, before I, some of us might be disappearing shortly. I have a bracelet and a ring. Check to see if you've lost a bracelet or a ring. If you have, lo you've lost one? Eh? No. That's it? Y'all are me teeth here. Somebody care one give me. A bracelet now. So I found the owner of the ring. I have a bracelet. Are you old? <laughs> this is it? All right. Great. Uh, Rene, tell me now because me going to run out of here shortly too. for the gate prize so remember keep your ticket handy Rainice and Dr. Rain Thomas 
Rainice and Dr. Irene Thomas, can you come forward to the stage area, please? Uh, let me, wow. People are now taking their photographs and DJ Kurt Riley, go and play your music. Nice music. I'm just going to say thanks for that. Turn the topic to some more. After this, I will draw the gate prize. I'll arrange to draw the gate no prize. Walking, no walking, yes. yes, you've been with me right through the road. And you never said I had enough. So I can no walking. Like to repay you for damages done. I know I won't be able to repair it all, cause I lost down. And with all the time you've been hurting, you're still so fine, and it's blowing my mind. I know I should. All right, just pull back away. a little bit for me, please, DJ Kurt. We're going to be drawing the gate prize now. Please get your eyes to your tickets. Get your eyes to your tickets. I'm going to ask Mrs. Bailey's mother to draw. You have four gate prizes. And Mrs. Bailey's mother will be drawing number one. This is for Moon Palace, Jamaica, Ocherias. Complimentary day pass for two. Moon Palace, Ocherias. Complimentary day pass for two. Please pay attention because if I call the number, nobody not come, then you know that go. Wow, what a whole heap of number. 414-8156. 414-8156. Is a holder of that ticket in the ballroom? 414-8156. 8156. Is a hold of that ticket in the ballroom? Going, going 4148156. Gone. You want me, Trevor? Oh, guess what? The, the, um, Trevor needs to see the drawing. Trevor needs to see. Uh, is that the person? 414-8156. Who is going to make the presentation? Mrs. Ba um, yes, please come and make this presentation. Is it? 4148. That's it. Could you make this? Let me move out of the way. Um, you need to stay where, go where Trevor can see the drawing. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So we have the presentation for Moon Palace. They pass for two. Here's another one. All right. What's that number? Here I am, here I am, here I am, Prudence. This one is 414 414-8326. 414-8326. Please listen up. Gate prize going. Going four one four eight three two six. Is there someone holding that ticket here? Raise your hands if you are, and I can't see you. Going, going, gone. Could you draw again, please? Come back and draw for us. Come and draw for us. Here's another one. Please check your tickets. 414-8423. 414-8423. 414-8423. 414-8423. 414-8423. 
four one. Hear them over there. So uh, four one four eight four two three. Who's holding this ticket? Four one four eight four two three. Going. Four one four eight four two three. Going. Going. Gone. Draw again for me, please. This is Moon Palace, Jamaica, Ocherius. Complimentary day pass for two. Please give it it depend it demand. I'm not not longer two. Ready? Four one four eight five four four. Four one four one four eight five four four. Where is where's ah here we go? Let me check that first though. Let me check it ticket. You let me check it. Hi, darling. Let me check. Four. Wait a Okay, I see now. Four, one, four. Oh, no. You missed one. You missed. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Sorry. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. No, you don't have the right one. There's one. Mix up. Uh, yeah. 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 Mix up. Just slightly off. You didn't hear it. Go on. Go get the prize. Strong. <laughs> She's she no, she stand up and now move. Now move because she know. All right. We have one more gate prize. Do one more draw for me, please. You got to know when to hold. Uh, can you imagine? No Thank you. Nice no music there, Kurt. Nice. 414-8536. Four, four, what is that? What is that? You better write, you know. After them, they breathe a nice down there. Then now I will repeat it till you come up here because you better have it right. And when you hear what it is, it's that time you're going to scream. <laughs> Don't peep over my shoulder. 414-8536. You can go there. Take it and sit down. Take it and sit down. All right, come back, come back. <laughs> You have Blue Soul Villa, Marina Villas, Rax Hall, three day, two night, weekend for four. What a night, what a night. Oh gosh, what a night. I feel good when you're wrapped up in my arms. Dancing to a reggae song. I feel good, feel good. I feel good. Cause your perfume isn't loud And only I can talk about Feel good, feel good Really a good opportunity to feel good Let me tell you, I'm going to have to run out of here Because I have a preview So Sydney Bartley, who we shocked Who we surprised Don't cut your eye off me Oh, but congratulations People loved you when you taught them and all you did for them. Congratulations. Friends, as usual, it's been a pleasure sharing in this occasion with you. And uh, they're not finished. They have other things that uh, will happen. So please, Sydney will take you through that. We've got to run to go do a few things. Put your hands together for pay. And we have some wonderful things coming up. Can Look here. You hear me, boys? You hear me, boys? Hello, students of Glenmere, sit. Sit. You students. Hello. Hello, sit. You students of Glenmere, sit. Sit. Find your seat. Find your seat. Students of Glenmere, sit. Find your seat. Students of Glenmere. Our next performer, sit. You students, sit. Where are you going? Where are you going? Sit. Sit. Students of Glenmuir, sit. We are not finished. Sit down. Sit down. All you, sit down. Students of Glenmuir, stay in your seats. Or you're going to have detention. Right. We are not finished. So students, hey, Ricardo, Ricardo Mallet. Hello, 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 Dottie Kana, sit down. 
Sit. Sit. I said, sit. 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 After all, our next item is an item we want to dedicate to Glenmuir people who have passed on. Yes? Even one such person passed on today. The first head boy of the school, Herman Williams, his grandson is here, Raj. He passed on recently. And today, Camille Morgan. And so the next song that we are sharing is dedicated to those teachers, principals, vice principals, whoever, past students who have passed on. To, to bring this to us, I ask Rainis to take us through this song. I'm sure you will love it. And we'll be ending today with the great D. Burns. He's outside. He's here. D. Burns is here. Go ahead, Renice. Yo, 
How is that? Now, beautiful. We don't want more. We don't want that to do again. Okay, so I'm going to give you a song called Stand. Stand. We invite, and then it's D Burns. You waiting for D Burns? All right, everybody's waiting for D Burns. The song Stand. Where's that song? Go ahead. These are message songs. Bishop Gibson set up Glen Muir for children of the poor. Today, we salute the poor who have struggled to send us to school. I've been walking with my face turned to the sun. Weight on my shoulders, a bullet in my brain. Oh, I got eyes in the back of my head, just in case I had to run. I do what I can when I can while I can for my people. Oh, the clouds roll back and the stars fill the night. That's when I'm going to stand up. Take my people with me. Together we are going to a brand new home. Far across the river. Do you hear freedom calling? Calling me to answer. Going to keep on keeping on. You know I got a made of mine. And I don't mind if I lose any blood on the way to salvation. Cause I fight with the strength that I got until I die. That's when I'm gonna stand up. Take my people with me. Together we are going to a brand new home. The river to you hear freedom calling, calling me to answer. Gonna keep on keeping on. I know what's on the bed might be hard to find.
And we continue. We continue with the closing of the, of the brunch. And now, another message song. For those who might feel down and out, here's a man who will give you some inspiration. Lift up your head. Welcome Askel Livingston, the son of the indomitable Faith Livingston. Yeah, yeah. Whoa. Lift up your head and hold it up high. We know that we'll win the prize. Times getting harder, still we're striving for better. And we're not gonna stop till the battle is won and we get justice. But if you lose yourself, Anyone will try and push you over, over, over and over. Lift up your head and hold it up high. We know that we'll win the prize. Lift up your head and hold it up high. We know that we'll win the prize. Don't be discouraged by the pitfalls and the worries. Pain endure for the night, but joy cometh in the morning. But if you lose your soul, anyone will try and get you over, over and over. Lift up your head and hold it up high. Because the color on my skin, now I go cheat because me want to win. Now see the crown, I still don't know the king. Now I see blessing, now no know blessing. But if you lose your soul, anyone will try and push you over, over and over. Lift up your head and hold it up high. We know that we. The prize. Lift up your head and hold it up high. We know that we'll win the prize. One more time. Lift up your head and hold it up high. We know that we'll win the prize. Lift up your head and hold it up high. We'll win the prize. Put our hands together. Ladies and gentlemen, one of the things that Glenn Muir did when Mr. Radcliffe took over was to expand its, its product from academics into sports. Into sports. And this year, the netball team from Glenmuir won the national award. Put your hands together. And now we wish to award the coach of the netball team. Come forward. This is it. The coach of the netball team, a past student himself. We are giving him an award. The netball team. Put your hands together. <laughs> Glenn Muir is about the whole of your body, DJ. mind, and soul. Bravo. We're going Bravo. to invite Miss Sandra, Bravo. Sandra Lindsay, Champion. to make Champion. the presentation. Champion. Mr. 
Mr. Philip Brown, come and stand beside me. Mr. Philip Brown, come and stand beside me. I'm trying to close off by rec doing the things that are on the program for recognition. Come and stand beside me, sir. At this point, I will ask, there's a team from Glenmuir, the first team to go to D Cup Finals. And some of them are here. They are celebrating. Stand up, please. Will the football team of 1985. Video. Good, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Phil Gersh Brown, past student, freelance writer, and member of the Glenmuir UK chapter. Yes, with a boat. In case you didn't know, the Glenmuir UK chapter exists. We've been around for a while, a long time, and we are part of the Glenmuir fraternity, contributing to this school. This presentation has been a labor of love, a continuation of a personal project of documenting the 1985. Glenmuir de Costa Cup team. For those of us who were at the final back in 1985, we remember the tension, the excitement, the pride in seeing the team play in the final. And for us as fans, we did not know whether we'd see such an occasion again. So if you're interested in what happened with the finals afterwards, you'll be able to purchase my book over by Table 32, Legends Forever, the Glenmere 1985 De Costa Cup journey, $1,600 or two for $3,000. I hope I've done justice with this presentation in honoring the 1985 Glenmere De Costa Cup football team. This is their story. Integrity, politeness, and love. He strongly believed in discipline, and some still cannot forget his switching cane. It was also said he knew every student by their names. Glenmuir, 1983 was a turning point in Glenmuir's football history with Clement Radcliffe, a brilliant mathematician who loved both education and sports, taking the reins from Dr. Scott. It is undeniable that he transitioned the school to achieve phenomenal success in both academics and sporting endeavors. The first strike was winning the Dr. Abner Wright Memorial Under-16 Football Trophy in 1983, being the first football trophy in the school's history. To prove that was not a fluke, the team with the likes of Clive Chicken Welch, Stephen Conti Jackson, Donovan Brown, Christopher Juki Juki Benjamin, Clarence Gobot Daly, Cleon Bull Walker, Patrick Yellowman Nelson, Courtney Corkscrew Lindo, Prince Buster Myers, Dwight Mingus Angus, Warren Fox Riley, David Crapper Scott, Steve Catty Smith, Robert Grant. Winston Barney Edwards, Dalton Robinson, Livingston Bailey, Bentley Simmons, and O'Neill Chambers, now deceased, went on to retain the title in 1984. The 1985 Da Costa Cup squad, led by Paul Zander Wright, was then joined by Nathan Tolobel, Orville Chickenback Plummer, Donald Bushy Parkinson, Garfield Monster Bailey, Gerald Drummy Williams, Albert Barnett, Clive Scuba Spencer, and Leroy Chillum Peters, both now deceased. The season contained some tremendous performances, beating the mighty Veer Technical qualifying into the interzone round, then going all the way to the final, all first for these pioneers. Some of these former players are here with us today. Since then, Glemir has won the Da Costa Cup three times, 2004, 2006, and 2012, the Olivia Shield twice, 2004 and 2006,
and the Ben Francis Cup seven times, 1993, 1994, 1999, 2004, 2005, 2009, and 2022. The 1985 the Costa Cup squad are extremely grateful for the ardent support from the early days, from Clement Radcliffe, the late Dahlia Bartley, Sidney Bartley, Michael Price, Othniel Scott, Dave Virtue, Juki Chin, Radcliffe Nibs, Dr. Edward Wright, coaches Leighton Bravo Green and Ian Harris, and countless others. We salute the players and the Da Costa Cup legends of 1985. They had their reunion last night in Clarendon at Juki Chin. They had a reunion. Put your hands together. The legends of football. And I want you to know one of the reasons why, as the president said to me, Philip Brown, who wrote the book about it, traveled from the UK to be here today just to do this. So we want to pray, give thanks. And now, to close off our brunch 2023. Juki Juki, acha. And now to close off brunch 2023. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you the dynamic outstanding exciting per performer from Glenmuir High School on every branch D Burns D Burns D Burns Love and hate can never be friends well no Oh no. But I want to be Papa. Why, 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 Fighting against oppression, and what I say, you know, but to bring down depression. Let me hear you sing it with me. Ooh, yeah. I wanna hear everybody. Ooh, yeah. Bands man level it now. Ooh, yeah. Ooh, yeah. Let me ask my question now. Are you ready to stand up and fight the right revolution? Are you ready to stand up and fight just like soldiers? Many you're called, you are chosen. I say, many you're called, if you are chosen. Say, if you want to live, 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 live on forever. I say, you got to love, 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 love each other. Said if you wanna live, 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 live on. I said you gotta love, love, love. Let me ask if I can. Ooh yeah, nah, nah. Say oh oh oh. 
Tati Ebre Yasso, ooh yeah! Oh, 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 oh. Round and back right there, so, ooh yeah! Everybody over here, so, ooh yeah! Bandsman level me now, please, bandsman level me. Shh, shh, shh. Now, I graduated from Glenmuir High School in 2000 and, well, I'm leaving at 2011. 2011. When I was going to Glenmuir, nobody never had the name Rosie. Was there anybody called Rosie in anybody's time at Glenmuir? Yes? Who say yes? Somebody named Rosie in a year days, right? Me can't tell you a story about Rosie. Hey, give me the mix, tell now, bandsman. Say, on the intercom, Rosie, tell me to come. Say, she didn't have a daughter, she didn't have a son. Say, the lift doesn't work, run up the stairs and come. Cause if you don't come quick, you're not gonna see your son. So I grab a bunch of rose and I started to run. And two months later, she said, come and get your son. Cause I don't want your baby to come. Time it done, not because you were old. And I am young. Cause while I'm young, yes, I wanna have some. Run me down. I should live up, diddly, 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 diddly. Bim, hey, give me the big scan up. Said I'm broad, I'm broad. I'm broad, it didn't broad away. Yes, I'm broad, I'm broad. Shh. Watch this now. Glenn Muir broad, Glenn Muir broad. Broader than Broadway. Gle hold on, hold on. Play me little bands, man. Now, as I proud Glenn Muir right, I want everybody to take them right hand, and we are beating it from the left side of our chest, and we are saying, one, two, one, two, three, one, two. Simultaneously, we are going to sing this, see? Glenn Muir Broader than Broadway. Glenn Muir Broad, Glenn Muir Broad, Glenn Muir Broader than Broadway. Now you see the culture of Glenmuir. How we upkeep the culture of Glenmuir? Brinton, you never went to Glenmuir High School. But can you tell me how we're gonna keep the culture of Glenmuir High School? Sing it for me. And them broad, we got to water. We are singing the wrong thing. And I say, to keep and care it, you've got to water it. How about I say you now? I've been all over the world. And then I say, I'll never see a black rose in no other garden. Boy, I miss a black, black ro roses in my garden. Black a black, black ro roses in my garden. A black, black ro roses in my garden. Microphone sounds sweet, ooh yeah. I cannot hear everybody, ooh yeah. Oh, oh, oh. One more time, ooh yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Everybody sing it now, ooh yeah. Oh, oh. It's a pleasure to be here. It's a pleasure to be here. Entertaining, tell me your high school. Stop my from high school, yes. We require. Bim. And she doesn't want me around Cause she got some things to hide And I think she wants a class The ball of them know that song, yeah? The ball of them know that song, yeah? Take for a ride, oh, we go And but I keep telling her I'm too experienced for some want to rock and roll. I'm too experienced to be taken for a ride. And I know it's not my foolish outside. So, you see this next song that I'm gonna sing? It's a personal favorite of mine. My father used to play this song every, every single day. And I think this song is one of the reasons why I got through Glenmuir throughout my years at Glenmuir. And I think everybody here can relate to this song because it speaks to what we are at Glenmuir and what we do at Glenmuir. Now, if you know this song, I just want you to sing it with me. Oh. Ready? Who know that one here? Yeah? Who know that one here? Yeah? It's very simple and it goes like this.
Just a little bit late. Yeah. And I said, I was born a winner. Oh, yes, I am. Yes, I was. to take you, but now I'm so mad, but that's the way to love, I feel it in my heart, I've got to say, oh, how I suffer, and oh, how I try, I gave all my pride just to be by her side, and who so ever try? To take the love that's mine. I never say no other word, no other word. Say ha ha. Mo want a dub wise. When in the start over, I need a dub wise so I can sing it one more time. Dub wise. Darling, how I love you. I gave all I had. We can't get some effects on the mic. They tried to take you, but now I'm so mad. But that's the way to love. I feel it in my heart. Oh, how I suffer. And oh, how I try. I gave all my pride just to be by her side. But who? Try to take the love that's really, 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 really mine. And if I die bad, I tell you, let him, let him try, let him try, let him try, so let him try. And I say, let him try. I'm fine. You sure this song? Oh, ha, ha. I'm going to start that set ya with this particular song. And it goes like this. Bass line. I stop sending flowers to your apartment. You said you weren't around much anymore. I stopped dropping by without an appointment. Cause I heard laughter coming through your door. Sometimes late at night you still call me Before you close your eyes to sleep And I made a vow that I would drop by sometime But that's a promise I can't keep Cause I love you too much to ever start liking you Let's leave the story at an end Cause I love you too much 
rush to ever start. Yes, see, after me sing that to her, bands man, play me level. Let me tell you what I sing to her after that. Come on, I have to change it up and sit up like Shh, 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 shh. Oh, me, oh, my, pretty baby, don't be shy. Oh, me, oh, my, I'm gonna tell you why. Oh, me, oh, my, pretty baby, don't be shy. And then we switch it up again and go stop like this. Keep it the bands, man. Inside my heart, there's nothing but love for you. Inside my heart. And then we're going to ask you a ballad now. Ballad me. Talk to you, but it's not the same. Let's touch you. Yeah. Every time. My name. I wanna run to you. See the little running motion like me, I dance. Boom, boom. And we'll be together. And it won't be long. It won't be long. But it feels like forever. And it's a hard. Yeah, from, from, yeah, what happened? Yeah, man, play that song there, because before you even play that song there, before you even start playing that song there, no, we said go deeper. Thank you so much. Oh, my God, thank you so much. This is Renee Mir. For those who don't know her, this is Renee Mir. She was one of my favorite teachers at Glenmere High School. She and Mr. Gavin Sams, but Mr. Sams left a long time. You understand? Big up Mr. Sams anywhere in the inner of the world. Big up Miss Mir right here, so same way. You understand? No, I chose this song because... I think this song represents what Glenmuir is. Glenmuir is a school, a small school, not a very big school. I work at the University of West Indies now, and I'm a student outreach and recruitment officer. So I visit schools almost on a daily basis. And I've seen some huge schools, some small schools, some medium-sized schools. And Glenmuir is a small school compared to some of the schools that I've been to. But regardless of Glenmuir's size, we're still able to make an impact on Jamaica and, dare I say, the world, because we're out in the world. And that's why I choose that song. I play that song there. Now, this one is called Book of Rules. And if you know it, I want you to sing it with me. I know the younger ones might not know this one. But for all the people my age and older, isn't it strange how princesses and the kings? And lose it all like sawdust in the wind. I say, come on, people like you and me will be builders for eternity. Each is given a bag of rules, a shapeless mess, and a book of rules. See the chorus! Hey, papa, 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 papa. Hey, papa, papa, papa. Pa. Choir, make sure to catch the party in the choir. Cause we are going to sing it together. Boom. I miss the pa 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 Hey, pa 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 Each must make his life from stepping in. Stumbling block or a stepping stone. I say, come on, people like you and me will be builders for eternity. Each is given a bag of tools, a shapeless mess, and a book of rules. Quiet, I'm ready. Sing a block. Say, pa 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 Only for you, listen. And I say, ba 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 ba
Can we sing the last verse now? This is the last verse. Look how the rain has fallen from the sky. I know the sun will only be missing for a while. I say, come on, people like you and me will be millions for eternity. We just give it a bag of tools, the shapeless mess, and a book of rules. Everybody singing with me. Hey, pa, 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 pa. Hey, pa, 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 pa. Hey, pa, 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 pa. Hey, pa 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 Bandsman, play me level. I want to hear everybody from Glenfield speaking with me now. Level Bandsman. And I say, pa 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 Rainy, stop it now. I want to hear everybody in the audience sing it. One more time. I say, pa 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 Hey, hey, pa 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 Papa, papa, papa. Hey, papa, papa, papa. Papa, papa, papa. Pa, pa. No, no. Bernie, thank, thank you so much for singing with me. Jen, Jen thank, thank you so much for singing with me. me. Right? No, this is the last song I'm going to sing. This song, this song is very dear to me. When I, when I, when I attended Glenmuir, I started out in speech festival, then I transitioned to the choir in second form, started singing. The choir saved my life at Glenmuir, almost got expelled in second form. I mean, I see Miss Clark, I don't see Miss Beryl Clark here. She almost expelled me and she saved my life. She never bother, she never bother run me, right? And the choir, the choir is what saved my life at Glenmuir. This song is one of the songs that I went to the JCDC festival with. Me never win a gold medal for it. Got us a bronze medal. But ever since then, me sing it everywhere me go. It's one of my favorite songs ever. And I'm going to invite my brother to sing it with me this evening. And now the end is near. And so I face the final curtains. My friend, I'll say it clear. I'll say it my case, of which I'm certain. I've lived a life that's full. I've traveled each and every highway and more much more than this I did it my way regret I've had a few but then again too few to mention I did what I had to do and saw it through without exemption I planned each charted course each careful step along the byway and more, much more than this, I did it my way. Yes, there were times I'm sure you knew when I beat off more than I could do. But through it all, Tall and did it 
and cry. I've had my fill, my share of losing. And now, as tears subside, I find it all so amusing. To think they're all we've got. And may I say, not in a shy way and more much more than this I did it my way for what is a man what has he got if not himself then he has not to say the things he truly feels and not the words of one who yields the record shows I took the goals we did it all Thank you so much for having me. It was a pleasure being here. Dale Brown, big up yourself. Ellis, big up yourself. Brenton, big up yourself. Thank you so much. Serious? Which one? Oh, thank you so much. Just a reminder before you, you go. Me? A reminder. Me. Well, well. Bands man, they said they're not done. Men don't know, them said they're not done. Just forward, man. I just stop my one shoot.